Previously on T Man. Um. <laughs> Look at this. It's in the tote. Oh. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Nine seven eight chill review. Hello everyone. Right now I'm reviewing Makai Toys Galaxy Meteor, part of their remaster series, which I guess they consider that to be masterpiece. This will be a masterpiece version of Transformers Cybertron or Transformers Galaxy Force Starscream, and I like it. It's awesome. Let's get it out of the box. Here is Galaxy Meteor, and I love him. I love him. He's good. He's perfect. I, I can't. I don't have too many complaints. Any complaints will be nitpicking, to be honest, because articulation-wise, this guy is friggin' on the same level as MP36, and I really like that. Now, the build quality of this figure reminds me of the MPM... Optimus and Bumblebee. The only difference is this has zero, zero die cast. If this had die cast, he would be damn near completely identical to them, plastic quality wise. But, eh, all the paint that's on him, everything that should be painted is painted, except maybe back here. The original figures had like more paint right there and I'm gonna bring them out so I don't know how to describe this guy it's like sort of like an economy style freaking masterpiece because it could have cost more they dropped the price down to a hundred dollars normally they would charge way more than a hundred dollars for something this size he is the like the exact same size as MP 11 Starscream so, that's cool height-wise. Let's get into his accessories. He comes with this gun. Now, I can't locate my guns for the other guys. One thing I like is there's an actual hole in the barrel. That's always nice. But it looks like something that may be able to fly on its own like a drone. How this fits into his hand, and there is a wheel there because it is compatible with his vehicle mode. No real hollowness besides where it needs to transform. The way this connects is different than your typical masterpiece, but sort of similar. Instead of just pegging in, it actually slides. This right here slides into a little groove, and then you have to move this up. It's not the firmest or tightest grip, but it's good enough. You see me shaking that around, and it's not wobbly. So, But sometimes if you bump it or whatever, it might start shifting in here which might get a little bit annoying to you, but it, as you can see, it wasn't horrible. He comes with this force chip right here, or a cyber planet key, as it was called in the US. No Decepticon logo, of course. You have to do repro labels, unfortunately. Here is the Omega Lock. I can't find my speed force chip, but I, I haven't looked for it. But here is a comparison. It's actually smaller, so these keys are not compatible with Starscream. That can't fit in there. But this one can. But due to the way they made him, it doesn't actually activate anything and I am happy about that. Other accessories, he comes with two other faces. This isn't the face he was packaged with, but this is my favorite face and this is the face that was on the front of the box. This is Smirk. One eye is actually squinting on the side of the Smirk and this eye is bigger. How do you change it? You lift this whole helmet off and then you pry the face off the front. Now we can go with his regular face right here. Put that on, slide this on, and here's what you're working with right there. So that's his plain face and I'm cool with that. And here is his completely joyous face or him laughing. Now it's kind of weird looking on that side of his lip, but Whatever, it's doable. I'm gonna just have the smirk face or the regular face on there. 
I don't really like this face too much. No, I, they're not really accessories, and I don't know whether to put it into the articulation, but I'll just do it now for weapons. These can come forward just like they could on the Supreme Class Starscream and on a cartoon, so those guns can come forward and shoot people. And just like G1 when he had those boob missiles, which are technically right here on him. And right here, the key doesn't activate this, but if you push this button, these swords come out. And the swords are nicely detailed right there. They're just energy blades with this green right there, which is really cool. You can, that's a gun too, technically. This one for me has a little bit of trouble. It doesn't pop out right away. I have to fiddle with it sometimes. And I believe that's probably that as far as weapons. But let's go into articulation. The head is nice. He can look down like that, even though he's looking at his chest. He can look up a lot, and he can pivot his head for those dynamic poses, and I love it. Love it, love it, love it, and of course it rotates. Sometimes you'll pop that off trying to do stuff, but I'm cool with that. Now these. His shoulders, they rotate, but it's very tight right there. Especially on this side. Not this side so much, but that's very tight. Now this can move out right here, which allows his arms to go out really far. And if you move this thing, which is double hinge, and it can rotate there, his arm can move out even further. So that is lovely. Super love it. Bicep swivel. Elbows bent more than 90 degrees. That is what I wanted from the original figure. And that's why I couldn't wait for this to come out. This thumb. The hand is basically just like the MP11 Seeker. Well, just like the Masterpiece Seeker period. Because that thumb is on one ball joint. This index finger is separated with a ball joint at the base and the hands. And these are all connected with a ball joint at the bottom and end, so you can rotate them to get different poses. They aren't as dynamic as the Masterpiece figure, which is unfortunate, but they can still get into similar poses. It's something more, they're, they're more flexible on the Masterpiece figure. He actually has an ab crunch. This is the basic form of his back. But you can move this down and you can even make them crunch back. I never in my life thought that this figure could have any of this. And as you do that, these pistons are visible. And while we're back here, what they added on him, these thrusters right here are there. They didn't have that on the original toy. So that's cool to let you know that he can fly in his robot mode and you can adjust them as you see fit. On top of that, on top of the ab crunch, if you move this out of the way, he has a waist joint. I never thought that would be able to happen. You can pull this down as you see fit and it's still not hanging as low as the original Voyager class version, which used to be frustrating. But there you go, that. The legs can go out this far and there are reports of a little peg system inside of there breaking and your leg might not be able to stay as tight as mine but it does have that scary ratchet sound and there's a soft ratchet here which I don't like I could see the ratchet there but I don't feel the ratchet which is weird he has thigh rotation and the knees can bend more than 90 degrees the ankle articulation is superb, and the feet can go up and go back like that. I guess it's up to you if you want it, but if you want in robot mode, him to have the wings back like that, you could do that, but I personally don't like that. And this right here, which is super awesome on the original toy, it just looks like this when you transform them. But they went ahead and filled this in because they know people are anal and don't like hollowness. But if you push this right here, which may not work all the time, and you have to like really mess with it, that pops up and fills that in. So 
They thought of everything with this toy. About the only thing that I can complain about is I wish they had like a hinge system to make this come down. And I don't like that this looks like Hasbro hollowness. So that's that. That's that's basically the only complaint I have. Looks like Hasbro hollowness. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that? The wrists do rotate. But it's very difficult because this thing is right here. So, yeah, this thing is awesome. Comparison time. Here he is against every has. Well, that's the Japanese version because they didn't release this color scheme in Voyager class in the US for some crazy reason. They only released this guy like he was the only version of Starscream ever because he did get gigantic in the cartoon. Spoiler alert with those crowns. But as you can see, these arms and body proportions look way more dynamic than this these little stumpy arms i hated that and this this is as wide as his arms can go out that frustrated me but here are the back of the wings that i was complaining about they actually kind of made that super similar so yeah, it looks great plastic there and it is right here so yeah this one can actually move the guns up like I was mentioning. These two, of course, can't. This barely can do anything. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, this guy, instead of having two swords, he actually has a cannon. He has a cannon on the side. This little dude does too, but you don't really need to see all that. And of course, this guy does have electronics, but there you go with that. Here he is against Galaxy Force Convoy or Transformer Cybertron Leader Class Optimus Prime. So if that's a good scale for you or if that's a good look, there you go. But I believe they're going to be, Maka Toys is going to be making a new version of this guy too. He looks dynamic and huge on yourself, but he is rather stiff and basic to make sure I cover everything I believe he probably would have been this size on the show because when he powered up or linked up with his trailer he was rather huge I believe I covered everything so now let's get down to transformation what you want to do first is lift this up like that peg that together right there now lift these thrusters up into this orientation right there the hands. The hands actually need to be, the thumb needs to come down like this. Then you have to bend them at the knuckle and put them in that orientation right there. I already did it on the other side. Now we need to rotate this into this orientation. I mean, it's a little bit tough. Maybe not rotate that all the way just yet. Break the arm right here. Not literally, but bring that back and open this up. At the, while you're opening that up, rotate this and open that up fully. Now the hand needs to go in. Make sure that the fingers are still in that orientation right there. Now we can start putting this out while we're still holding, moving this into position, but me basically making this to that level right there. So now we have a couple things to do. We need to groove the hand up into this cavity right here. And we need to put this peg right there into a little slot on the inside of here. So it's like you gotta push this around, move that into the slot. Meanwhile, pushing the hand into the thruster cavity and putting that little peg in between there, right here. So now you're good to go. Repeat the same thing over here. One thing that might help once you get everything how it's supposed to be, make sure that this little gray hinge in between there is slightly shifted up so that that will be flush the way it's supposed to be. Now we can detach his back right here with the little pistons and bring this up. It's two peg holes right here. They need to peg into these two pegs. So straighten that up. You might want to, while you're bringing that up, move these wheels down because the kind of getting away now peg that into there now you're good now we can actually push his head down the original toy didn't do this 
to hide his head in any type of con convenient way. Bring that down and there is a lever right here that actually shifts his head in if it gets stuck, which it, it should. But lift that up, it doesn't lock it or anything. Now we can lift these two pieces up and out of the way. The legs, I kind of showed this off earlier, but basically this needs to go down and this needs to push in like that. So basically this needs to push in the in it, basically. Bring these out, push the hail spur down and bring the foot back like that. We need to pull the leg down and rotate it in. Pull the leg like down and rotate it in. And now we can rotate the leg like this while bending the knee like this and continue to rotate the hip up into this orientation right here. And this needs to go up under there like this. So once this is connected or in the front of that, you know you did it right. Same thing. Because I know that might be a tad complicated. Rotate the leg down like this while bringing this around and closing it in. It's a little bit of an extra step that the original toys didn't have. Like, it's sort of similar, but more complex. Oh no. There's one more step I forgot. There are two little things that come down right here. You're supposed to do that before. As soon as you lift his body up, you're supposed to bring these down on both sides, but you should still be able to access them if you didn't. And what that does, these little pegs slot into two little slots right there and that keeps his body together. You might have to fiddle around with it to, to keep it right. But now here he is in his Cybertronian aircraft mode, which looks just like the original and it, it's awesome i like it so once you have those little pieces out it shouldn't be wobbling anymore he does feature these wheels right here and these wheels right here so he does roll and he rolls rather well well that's cool he has these thrusters these thrusters so that's nice these can articulate and sort of make it like it makes me think of Star Fox, like when they go into all range mode or whatever. So he can still fight and shoot all over the place. He has this right here. If you take his gun, port this up like that. Now this needs to groove in between here. So you have to kind of untransform him a little bit and slot basically slot that in and then shut it tight again. So now he has an extra added cannon. So I like this mode. Can't complain about it. The top of his head is still there. You can't see his face at all. It's difficult to see his face. So I can't really complain too much. And if you want, you can store the planet key or force chip right there. So I like it. I am completely satisfied with this. The cockpit isn't really transparent. It's transparent, but there's silver behind there, so you can't see any seats or detail. But last thing for me to do is bring the other ones in to compare him. So I got all of these transformed. Here it is against the little Legends class one. Who, well, as you can see, has the visible head, just like I mentioned. Bogus. But, oh, isn't he cute? He's very tiny, of course. Here is the original version as far as Voyager class. I think the gray is kind of yellowing like a Super Nintendo from back in the 90s. But same details as you can see, basically here or there. I need to put some Decepticon stickers on it. But the head is not as recessed in as this dude. And this dude is more blue. That was more cartoon accurate instead of black because this is black plastic and not blue like this guy. And this thing, ah, it's 
gonna be hard for me to even show both of these. I love, I think I like this one and the vehicle mode the best because it is ginormous. I feel like instead of a, a fighter jet, it's like a star destroyer or something like that because it's so huge. And you can see inside of that cockpit and you can actually see in here and see a little bit of a seat. And for the people so I can save myself in the comments, questions, this is removable. It does not fit on the Maki Toys version at all, but there you are. So I love this thing. I'm happy Maki Toys created this. This is actually a dream come true. It, it might not seem like something that would be on somebody's radar, but this is a figure I've been wanting for over 10 years. These versions did not satisfy everything I wanted as far as this character. This character actually was cool. A lot of people hated the cartoon, but I actually watched it and I actually enjoyed it. And I love Starscream on there. It was the first Starscream I seen that like single-handedly beat all the Autobots and accomplished his goal of getting the Omega Lock and getting the last Cyber Planet Key so that he could turn giant and basically be the leader of the Decepticons for the whole show. Anywho, if you like this video, let me know in the comments. Let me know by liking this video by clicking the thumbs up button. Until next time, Team Man 978 out of here. Thank you for watching. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click the videos click those in videos baby click click the videos you really should